If I told you that we still have prehistoric animals roaming the earth today, you might picture a snapping turtle, a horseshoe crab, or maybe even a shark. But we also have prehistoric insects, such as the dragonfly. Dragonflies have been around since before the dinosaurs, and they're part of the taxonomic family Odonata, along with damselflies, which are their smaller and thinner cousin. So dragonflies have two life stages. They have the larval stage, and then they go straight into the adult stage. And they're considered aquatic insects because the larval stage is spent in the water, and that larval stage is typically longer than their adult life. Uh, so they will be in their larval stage from anywhere from several weeks to even years. And when they hatch as adults, they will typically live up to a few weeks. Did you know that the largest insect fossil ever recorded in history is actually of a distant relative of the dragonfly? It was recovered from the Permian period, which is the final period in the Paleozoic era. So for a time scale, that's about 100 million years before the dinosaurs. And this fossil had a wingspan of 28 inches. To put that in perspective, that's bigger than a sharp-shinned hawk. And just like hawks, dragonflies can also fly very fast, reaching speeds of up to 20 miles an hour. They also have up to 30,000 lenses in those big compound eyes, giving them excellent vision. Like butterflies, after a dragonfly adult hatches from the larval stage, it needs to take some time to gather its energy and dry off its wings. So they may be seen hanging out above their old exoskeleton, flapping their wings, drying off, moving around, and shaking their flight muscles to prepare. This dragonfly had fallen in the water, and so I scooped him out, put it on a rock, and I saw that its wing was injured. Regardless, it still started to shake its flight muscles as if getting ready to fly. And boy, it proved me wrong. I thought it was gonna have a tough time, but it zoomed away pretty quickly. Thanks for watching. So let us know down below in the comments what your favorite prehistoric animal is that we can still find walking or swimming on the earth today. This is Maggie from the LRCC and join us again soon for another Share Learn Adventure.